www.ebitda.com. Educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hey, looking, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good. We're going to talk about risk here, and then we're going to go in to talk about platinum in just a little bit. But I wanted to show you a picture of the backyard here. Yesterday, Sarah was watching the man trim the tree there. You can notice that's a 30-foot ladder. And then on top of that, he's got another uh, 30 feet that he's got to probably... Uh, climb up to see, and uh, I, I just wanted to update you to, to show you what it looks like from his perspective and where he is, and then you're going to have to guess, you're going to have to guess what he gets made, what he gets paid for a living. That's the real key here. Hold on just a minute. The screen here, share the screen, change the window. There we get this up here. We'll be able to see it okay. There he is up there, folks. He's about 70 feet in the air. And those of you that have been any round lumberjacks or tree trimmers like that, they wear spikes uh, on their shoes here that allows him to go up and down. But he goes up very, very slowly and gets it done. And believe me, folks, you'd think it would cost a fortune to do that, but he, he makes a very, very small wage. Uh, he could probably do better working at McDonald's, but uh, very nice young man, and he does it. it you know, it's, it's not dangerous to him, but, boy, when you look at him go up and he's way up in the air there, and he's way up there. So that's uh, that's what I thought you'd be interested in. It's a whole lot easier to trade something and get stop, stopped out often than do a job like that. Let's talk about platinum first. We had a very nice call from our good friend George, and he wanted to talk about platinum. So I'm going to bring up the chart of platinum and then expand it a little bit to show you where we are. Okay, here is platinum on the daily uh, you'll notice we had that big triple bottom down in that area. Then we had a big move down. And then from that, we've seen we've already gone above the 61% retracement. And we've had a, a really big rally, folks, 100 and something, just like we've had in gold. So this is a bear market with a, you know, lower tops coming in here. So what, in fact, is what you're looking at now is a 135 pattern forming in the platinum. But let's expand it. Just a little bit for George to show you what I like to do is I like to go down to the smaller time frame. And what we'll do here is we will look at it on the four hour chart. By the way, Mr. Chapman knocked it out of the park yesterday, I understand, on his show. I hope you had a chance to see it. If not, you can get the replay. But now this is platinum uh, on a four hour chart. You can see the three drive to a bottom pattern down here. There's the key pot spot right here, folks. You see that first 61% retracement? You know, that, that that's really the key to tell. We've, got, we've seen this in crude oil. I mean, they do the same thing all the time. It's just that they change the names of the players. But look at the 382 retracement that we had here. This market went up and then finally made a 382 retracement, which was equal to the 61% retracement down. And where does it point to the C A B C D Today's high. So, you know, that's what I'm looking at in platinum. I hope that helps, George, but uh, it looks like it's ready for a correction, much like the gold. And, of course, we looked at gold yesterday with the ABCD at 18.22, and that's dropped uh, only about 30 bucks. It's trading at 18.05 or something, the last I saw. But uh, I think we got more to go on the downside uh, with the gold. So we'll, we'll watch that one very close. Now I want to talk about losing because losing is very important. Yesterday, Tommy O'Brien was on and he was talking about, uh, Disney about how everything was good with Disney. And someone asked me to take a look at the chart for Disney. And so I wanted to get up here and show it to you. And if you'll move up here, you'll see here, there's the ABCD that I was looking at. You can see that the beautiful butterfly bottom that occurred right down there at the bottom, beautiful ABCD. That was when it was trading at, I think, 138 or something. What was it? Uh, 
I don't even remember, no, 90-something or whatever it was, that price. And then we had this big move up that measures, you can see the top up here, measures to 113. Well, guess what happened to Disney? They had a thing come out yesterday called earnings, and or maybe it was today. It was today. And they literally knocked it out of the park. They made it something that says, holy moly, guacamole, this thing might be going up forever. But what we want to do now is to see what really happened with Disney, and all I've got to do is to find the second chart, and here it is. Here's the chart for Disney. We'll get it up here so you can see it. This is a longer-term daily now, and what we're going to do now is look at this on a longer-term basis, and you're going to see Disney, and here's where we are. You see today's high was a 61% retracement of this high, and it was a 382 retracement of the high. So this is, we got a big gap up here, and then we hit the number within 30 cents on a some dollar stock. It's trading at 119, I guess. But the fact that it left that gap at that area, uh, that's, it should have blasted, and it might, folks. It might go blasting through there. Remember, that's one of the Dow stocks. And it was responsible for, I think, 100 points on the Dow this morning when this was up around 10% is what I heard. Now, I'm just giving it secondhand, so I hope that's a pretty good idea of uh, what we're looking at right here. So that's the main thing. And the reason why I put this up, you see the beautiful ABCD right here that we looked at at 113? That, that looked really great. Okay, the problem was earnings come out. And when earnings come out, you know, that's a giant unknown and there's nothing wrong if you bought a call or a put or you were in the stock. You have to take that risk that's there. Now, if I, had I, I don't trade stocks, but had I been in that trade, which I don't like to go into reports, and if I were a stock trader, which I'm not, I wouldn't want to risk going into a report unless you did a put or a call so you know exactly what your risk is. Here, this thing could have opened up $50. You don't know what's going to happen in these days. You look what they do to... These, you know, they don't do it anymore because the market's in basically a downtrend. So, well, that's what I think it is, so we'll find out. Anyway, that's what I'm looking at. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's just a huge rally in a bear market here, folks, so we have to pay uh, close attention to it. Now, with the action that we've had the last two days uh, in the stock industry futures, we really need to take a look at the open interest, and for that, we always go to our man, Mr. Billy V, down there in Texas, and he was uh, he sent some beautiful charts on, and I wanted to um, bring these up to show you what's happening with open interest here because it's a lot different than what they're telling you. And let's move on here to uh, take a look at this one. we got the break coming up, but we'll be able to cover these after the break. Stan Harley is our guest today, and tomorrow – we have uh, Mr. Peter Elidy, Stock Market Cycles, will be our guest. Folks, write this number down, please, 4235-4235 in the S&P. It is really, really, really important that we close below 4235 either today or tomorrow. Because if we don't, uh-oh, 877-927-6648. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, diverse partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, talking about open interest, I posted the charts for the Russell and the Dow Jones, and as you can see here, uh, we've had a big increase in open interest uh, in the Dow Jones recently. Uh, still, it's still in a downtrend, but you can see with this bullishness here, but with the Russell, you see the open interest is dropping. But what we need to do, that happened to be, let's try it again, Larry, that happened to be the um, the, first, the one on the right was the NASDAQ, uh, and that has a, bull, a bullish open interest, and the one on the left is the E-mini. And as you can see on the left side of this, it is really not very positive. you got open interest dropping, and you've had this thing run up quite a bit for five days. That's not a good sign ordinarily. Uh, you know. But we live in interesting times, is the old Chinese curse, so let's uh, sort of remember that. Well, let's go back. Uh, to, oh, there's one other thing I wanted to look at, too, I believe. Um, I wanted to show you something that uh, one of our friends from up in Seattle sent to us. Uh, I, I copied what he was doing just to show you it was easier to do it on my system than his, but he wanted to show some symmetry that we have going on here with the Dow Jones E-mini, and I wanted to point it out because you'll notice here, we, we thought the Dow was going to hold this level right here, and you can see it's five five or six hundred points higher than we thought it was going to go. It didn't quite make the 618 retracement yet. But the thing is, look at the timing between A and B and C and, and where we are right now. That's a 135 pattern, folks. That's just spot on. Now, we, we're way above. See, this move right here, this BC swing, that was exceeded two days ago. We thought it was going to hold that level, and it didn't. And you can't stand in front of it. We, you know, it's not about how much money you make. It's about how money, how much money you don't lose. But look at that. That's a beautiful one, three, five pattern. And you're coming in with a market where you're seeing short covering. And that's usually not a very good sign. And remember, you know, sometimes these things just don't flat work. Let's just look at this C mini S and P. And uh, that brings to another question that someone asked. And, um, I had a call this morning from one of our friends over in Denmark that had been, uh, been going through a period of breaking even. It had some winners, had some losers, and he said he had never felt so good breaking even. And I asked him, why is that? 
He said, well, I'm doing the right thing. He said, I see what I'm supposed to see, and I'm doing the right thing, and that really gives me some peace of mind. And, folks, if you've got peace of mind in this business, you've got the number one cycle fixed, and that's what you want to do. It's from the left ear to the right ear. You get that 90-inch cycle right, and the rest of it falls into place. Mr. Mark Douglas drove it home here for the four years that we worked together in this office about the importance of that nine-inch cycle. Because when things are not right and you're doing things that are not going to work right, you already know you've got a big problem. Remember from Roy Longstreet, viewpoint of a commodity trader, the first mistake teaches, the second mistake kills. So when you see that second mistake, get out of Dodge. And when we went above 42.12 yesterday in the S&P after the markets closed, it told you it wanted to go higher, and where did it go? It went to 43.61. Those of you that listen to our newsletter or write our news, listen to our, the John's newsletter that we do every week, you'll notice the predicted high for the S&P this week was between 42.54 and 42.69, and 42.61 is right in the middle of that. The reason why. The price of 42.35 must close lower today or tomorrow is because it would represent the largest rally we've had, and that would indicate that it is no longer a bear market. So if we close above 42, I'm taking a little bit of, well, I'm taking a lot of thunder from Peter Lighty's, but he'll he'll discover that, uh, discuss that on Friday. We have uh, Stan Harley today. Monday we've got um, uh, Norm Winsky. Tuesday, we're going to have Jim Bartoleone, and Wednesday, we hope to have Tim Bost uh, next week. So we've got a good group of folks coming in uh, looking at some of these things. Now, let's go back for just a minute. We've done a lot of things right these last couple of days, folks. Uh, remember, we talked about the bonds yesterday. You want to do the ones that are working the best, the, the one that is the weakest. If you remember, we talked about the sale in the bonds up there. When we hit that level level up here at the 42 and change. Okay, that, that was a beautiful pattern right at a 618. Everything you could possibly ask for. And if you wanted to follow through with that today, you'll see that uh, the uh, bond here, let's get it up here, you'll be able to see it's like a falling safe. In fact, it's uh, it's almost broke uh, 140, which is four handles down from the big high the other day. But there it is. You can see it right here. In fact, we've got a big ABCD for me here. We're bound to get a little bit of a rally. But that's what we're watching here uh, in that. We also, uh, you know, mentioned about the gold. The gold had that beautiful uh, ABCD pattern to the upside. And we felt that uh, if I can find it, and I know I can. And then I'll go back to the S&P just a, a little bit later. And I wanted to cover the crude oil. Let's just do crude oil because... The importance of this bottom that is formed here, and we spent a great deal of time this weekend on the videos for heating oil and gasoline and also for the S&P. But the S&P had made the low at 87.01. The number was 87.35. We hit 94 and changed, folks. 94 and change. That's a 12% move in three days. That is one big move. And if you'll take a look at it on the shorter time frame, we'll get it up here. It has been a mover and a groover and jumping around all over. But you can see the last two days what's happened here. We've had a tremendous move, and we're, we're getting ready to complete a big number up here at 95 and change. So watch that one uh, for tomorrow. But this market has made a major bottom now in heating oil, gasoline, and crude oil. That was a big ABCD coming in right at the 618 on the um, crude oil. So it's it's done exactly, uh, you know, what it should have. Now, hopefully with a little bit of luck, I'm going to find that gold chart. Mm, sometimes I need more luck than I want to have, but let's look along here. Oh, shucks, I can't find it. Anyway, you guys know where it was. It was a beautiful, ah, I found it here. Here we go. There's it. There we go. There we go. This is from... Yeah, we haven't we haven't broken very much at all, folks. We've only broke about thirty bucks, so that's a that's a good sign. But from this pattern right here, we should at least get down to about uh, seventeen uh, eighty seven to seventeen eighty, and you know we're still twenty dollars away from that. So I think it's important that we uh, pay close attention to that 
and we'll see whether we can do that. We've got a break coming up here, just a moment, and Stan Harley uh, will be our guest. Hopefully, I hopefully Stan sent the charts in, and if he didn't, I'm in big trouble, and I've got the charts. Hold on just a second here. So we'll have Stan Harley up uh, at the break here, and he's got five really cool charts, and uh, we'll be able to take a look at those. So let's uh, see Stan come on in just a little bit. And If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hello, Larry. Can you hear me? Hello, Larry. Can you hear me? Because I'm in the dark, as they say in the face. Can the Larry, folks I can hear you now. Ah, good. All right. Dan, listen, before we start, I wanted to mention, I showed that guy in the tree trimming the tree, 
He gets somewhere between eight hundred and a thousand dollars to do that two hour job. So I put my my notice in, and I'll be climbing trees very shortly. <laughs> Go ahead, Stan. Please start out with your uh, S and P five hundred chart, if you could. Absolutely. Uh, we'll jump right into the charts here. I b- I believe I have. Uh, hopefully, I do. I had it up here before. I'm having a little tiny bit of technical troubles here, so let's get it get it together. Hold on one second, and uh, where are we here? Well, Stan, we're having some tremendous volatility here now, and I think uh, this is my ten cents worth. And I think we're making a top in here today. Let's get up here and let you tell us. Here's here's your chart, Stan. We're going to start out with the S and P uh, 500. And uh, why don't you go ahead and tell the folks what you're looking at. And when you're ready, I'll move on to the next chart. Absolutely. Uh, The first chart here is a monthly chart of the S&P 500 going back about 60, 70 years. And this is a chart that I've shared on the air with you in the past. What I have found is the dominant cycles, the dominant highs on the monthly charts tend to occur at roughly 84 month intervals, plus or minus. That's seven years. And uh-huh. see, the dates that I've marked here uh, have marked all of the significant highs going back to the 1960s, and I can take this back even further. Uh, but uh, suffice it to say, over the span of this period of time, every 84 plus or minus a few months, left or right, we tend to get major cyclical highs. And I think the January 4th high of this year in the S&P marked the latest uh, pattern in the series. Okay, all oh, this next one warms my heart, Stan. This next chart really makes me feel good. Hold on one second. By the way, we have our friend Peter Elides will be our guest uh, on uh, tomorrow, and I know you, Peter, from the old you and the, you know Peter from the old days too. So hold on I one second. Peter, uh, he and I were both uh, regulars on Channel Twenty Two KW, KWHY hey. back in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, I, I remember when you remember they had guys there like uh, uh, one was called uh, oh my gosh <laughs> Bill Griffith of course and and uh, also uh, um, Elette, what's her oh my gosh I can't remember the oh my mind's slipping a little bit let's not there's worry a lot, about there's that there's a lot of talent on there uh, Larry yeah, uh, Steve Morgan Ron, Ron, Ron and Sana yeah there sure was we yeah. had. Um, what was the what was the guy the reporter that was so nice um, that was on he was he was reporter for Richard the LA. Richard yeah Sachs. that's right yeah what a what a class act he was that was really good so Indeed. let's let's move on here you're looking at August 11th now what's today today hmm August 11th yeah uh, it sure is what I've done here Larry is I've looked at all of the highs and lows, the significant highs and lows, the trading cycle highs and lows, every single one, without exception, every one, lines up within a couple of days of a major Fibonacci ratio. 0. 0.236, 0. 0.382, 0. 0.618, 0. 0.764, etc. I've dumped all these dates into a spreadsheet. I've done what's called a regression analysis, which is a mathematical technique to find the best mathematical fit of the data series. And what it does is it computes August 11th, 2022, for the next turning point, with a standard deviation of about uh, two to three trading days. So what does that tell us? That tells us we should be looking at a potential trend change in the period of August the 11th. And I think it's going to be a high. Incidentally, uh, if you take the Fibonacci 144 in terms of trading days, you add it to the date of the all-time high in the New York Composite Index, which occurred back on January the 13th, you add 144, that equates to August 11, 2022. You take the low on June the 17th, two months ago, you add a Fibonacci 55 calendar days, and that equates to August 11, 2022. What is today? Well, that's one, what, it, that's one. what it's suggestive of is, is that we should be alert to a potential trend change right in the present time frame, plus or minus a day or two left or right. 
Well, I have to agree with that. That's a very interesting chart. But the August 11th is a, a big day for me. I lost two good friends many years ago on August the 11th. And today is uh, Sarah's little grandson. He's nine years old today. So August 11th is a very, very important day uh, for me from a historical standpoint. Um, Dan, we have a question from one of our listeners, uh, and that is, at, is this more market acting normally to you? I mean, it is to me, but what's your opinion, Dan? Um, I think it's a very normal market. Uh, yeah, it, some people yeah. are prone to saying it's different this time, and I just roll my eyes. No, it's not. Yeah. Um, it, it's no more, no more, no less volatile than uh, days past, and the cycles don't change. The Fibonacci-Lucas ratios don't change. Uh, yeah. No, it's not different this time. It's quite so. Uh, well, I was glad to hear that because I felt the same way, and to hear it from you is also important. Now, you've got a, a, a little graph here on Fibonacci and Lucas numbers. What were you trying to tell us here, Stan? Yes. Uh, what this is, just a table I put together. Uh, the left-hand column is the Fibonacci series. I just started with five for convenience. Went through the number 144, which we just discussed. And then I do a lot of work with the Lucas number series, something that I don't think too many people are familiar with. And then the third column is I've doubled those two numbers and listed those down in that, that vertical column. And what I have found is the Lucas numbers actually are far more important than Fibonacci numbers. Uh, highs to highs, lows to lows, tend to increment by the Lucas series and they're two times multiple. Uh, time spans from low to high and high to low more often than not tend to be Fibonacci numbers or they're two times multiple. But this column under the times two, those numbers show up time and time and time again, all markets, all time frames. And then way over right I've shown some Fibonacci ratios that are very common. Those ratios defined the, all the pivotal turns that I showed on the prior chart. People might not know this, but uh, Lucas was actually Italian. His name was Petrosinelli, and he changed it to Lucas because it was easier to say. Did you remember that, Stan? I did that not was, know that. I <laughs> thought he was a, uh, a mathematician <laughs> under the French government. And yeah. he was, uh, yeah, he was, I mean, I could have the history wrong, but Larry, my understanding was he was a, uh, a government mathematician. Yeah, he was. Yeah, I was joking about these times. Nice Stay with us, Dan, would you please? Absolutely. We'll be right with Stan Harley, folks. Harley Stock Market Letter. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're chatting with Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter, but we are going to jump out of the stock market and talk a little bit about blockchains and Bitcoin. I think it's for here to stay, don't you, uh, Stan? I, I, I do indeed. Uh, my previous charts may not have come through, and if they didn't, the error was on my end. I think I failed to click the share screen button, so I apologize for that. Um, I think I think what folks folks can see it now. This is the Bitcoin chart, correct? Yes, this is Bitcoin. And yes. what I've done here is this is every day of trading from the beginning, back in uh, July of 2010. And what I've done is I've converted the chart into a log chart as opposed to an arithmetic chart, so it's a little bit easier to see. A lot of people have trouble analyzing Bitcoin, and it is a tough rascal. To do that uh, but here's what I found uh, keep in mind the prior discussion that dealt with the Fibonacci Lucas series and in particular mm -hmm. the Lucas numbers and I have found Larry every single high on the Bitcoin chart every single one can be defined by the Lucas series of numbers so what I've done is I started the analysis at the high that occurred in June of 2011 and as you can see, I put a zero there. And then forward in time, in terms of monthly time counts, I've showed the number of months. So for example, the time period between that June 8, 2011 high and the April 10th, 2013 high was 22 months. Lucas number 11 times two is 22. Okay. The time period between that June 11th, or June 8th, 2011 high and the November 2013 high was exactly 29 months. That's Lucas 29. Okay, the time period into the 2017th high that occurred back in 17 December of that year was 78 months. The operable function there clearly is 76 Lucas number. Um, then we had a, a high in June of 2019, 96 months from that 2011 high, that's 47 times 2, 94 months. And then mm -hmm. the most recent high in November of 2021, the, the most recent all-time high, was 125 months. The operable function there is the Lucas number 123. So as one can see, every single high of importance uh, has occurred at either a Lucas number or it's two times multiple. Everyone. Well, this is certainly not a bearish chart as the way I see it. My goodness, it's been going up forever, and these corrections seem to be normal, so it looks okay to me. Now, Stan, when, do you look at any charts like uh, the Coinbase or the things that ARC, uh, these people look at, I mean, that, that do some of these cryptocurrencies? I, do, I really don't look at them at all because I don't understand it, and 
you know, I keep my stuff really simple to A, B, C, D, but do you ever look at a stock like Coinbase and stuff like that to try to find patterns that, that fit uh, with, with what you're looking for? Yes. Yeah, I've analyzed Coinbase extensively. I don't have a chart here today. wasn't prepared for okay. it. But uh, absolutely, that's a stock that I've analyzed quite a bit. Um, mm -hmm. What it did was it, it actually peaked earlier in 2021, and it made a lower peak on November 10th, divergence. Okay. I.e., okay. Bitcoin went to a higher high, and Coinbase made a lower high on that same day. And as you know, as a market technician, we look for things like divergences, and that was a big fat divergence staring us right in the face. Certainly suggestive that the new high in Bitcoin was uh, was in jeopardy. Okay. Wow, that's really interesting. Now, um, I had one other question for one of our listeners, and where can they find out more information about Lucas numbers? Is there a just a hit it on Google or something, or what's the best way to do that? Probably just uh, go into Google, do a Google search on Lucas Numbers. Uh -huh. My guess is one will not find very much because it's not a subject that's widely understood. And this, of course, the doubling, uh, you're not going to find that in any book. That's my own, uh, that's the product of my own research. Uh, uh -huh. But I would look to encourage uh, the viewers to look at both Fibonacci numbers and Lucas Numbers and then uh, try things like multiplying by two, by four, or by one half and you'll be astounded how frequently those pop up uh, in the markets. Yeah. yeah, it's all it's all related to numbers. These algorithmic guys, I it's mean, all you can see these, oh, they turn it's on these now. numbers like magic. I know it's, uh, it, 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 in fact, is I, I amazed at it when I see it. I've been looking at it for many years. Listen, I want to thank you for being our guest today. I want to post the folks there to buy your Harley stock market letter. Uh, if they want to get a sample, I guess they could... Uh, contact you and uh, hopefully we'll have you on again pretty soon. Are you still happy back east? Do you like it? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Well, it was only 109 the other day here and I was thinking of you. It was probably a little bit cooler where you were. <laughs> I, 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 I thought you'd like to summers very well. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd like to know that uh, on Monday they're going to have the final services for Vin Scully at St. Jude's Catholic Church there in Westlake Village. So I, I thought you'd be interested uh, to hear that because I know you've been in that area for yes. quite a while. So, In fact, my daughter's moving back from Denver. She's moving back into the Westlake area. She just can't take the cold weather uh, in Denver anymore. So it's going to be interesting. Hey, listen, thanks for joining us, buddy. I really do appreciate it, and we'll have you on again soon, okay? I look forward to it. My pleasure. You bet. Okay, thank you, Stan. Okay, folks, that was Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. And let's just move on here for a second, and if we can get a rough idea of where we are on some of these things. See, we got the gold trading at 18.05. We got the uh, uh, S&P trading at uh, 42.31. The key level to watch there, folks, either today or tomorrow, it must close before 42.35. I'm going to let Peter Lydes uh, tell us about that tomorrow. I looked at what he was looking at, but uh, with the fact that uh, Mr. Harley was saying August 11th, you know, might be a really important day, and it happens to be a full moon, and uh, it's two days away from one of the biggest days ever in the markets, and that was August the uh, the 9th of 1983, and that's when the bond market stopped going down and started going up, and it went up for 26 years. So uh, that day is hitched in my mind or around that time. It's, uh, it's very, very important. Also, folks, we talked about this uh, crude oil. Uh, we get to 95. We're trading at 94.52. That's up uh, a little over 12%. In, uh, in just a little bit. By the way, Mr. Shane Smolian has just popped in to let me know that we also have perigee, where the Earth is as close to the moon as it gets. We owe that to our good friend, Mr. Pythagoras, who was the first person to talk about that, and also the first person to talk about the square root of numbers, and he knew the distance between the Earth and the moon was 250,000 miles. And he knew that, folks, in 667 B.C. And low operator. Where was the rest of the world for 1,700 years? Okay. 
We'll be right back. 877-926648. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vistagold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vistagold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vistagold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vistagold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Chart of the Treasury bonds, and the reason why I did that is I've been trying to... It, say to try to get you to trade the easiest patterns this has been in a downtrend that high on the left up here that was an exact you remember 382 on the weekly at 146 we had lower highs today you know we had the uh, uh, retracement here a little above the 382 it look look it just keeps dropping and dropping i mean the trend is uh, certainly down those are the ones, you know, if you're in a bad streak or something, just find a market that's going down and try to sell the rally. You know, that's really a, a, be a better way to do it. I mean, you know, we try to pick tops in here. Well, they're not tops, but they're what they're called trading patterns. And that's, that's, what I, that's what I try to do. Now, a lot of these don't work. I mean, you know, that's basically uh, what you're looking at. Just take a look at this today. I was watching uh, this morning because the market was so crazy. I was just watching it on a you know eight minute chart. You'll see here all we I think is a four minute chart. 
no eight minute. You'll see uh, I had a, a potential of uh, eight six. Excuse me, uh, forty two sixty nine. We only got to forty two sixty two, and then of course we had a pretty substantial break, and then we had a rally back up to the three eight two. Folks, write this number down forty two thirty five. If we can close below forty two thirty five today or tomorrow. We've made a major top in here, but if we go above that and we start getting around that 40, uh, 250, 4300 level, this market can make a new high without any trouble at all. And why? I have no idea. All I know is it could possibly do that. So you don't want to stand in front of it. So keep those cards and letters coming in. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless and always stay on the green side of the grass. And only read the first edition of the newspaper. Very, very important. We'll see you on tomorrow, folks. Our guest tomorrow will be Peter Elides. He'll be on for most of the show because he's got some great information, as always. We'll see you tomorrow. 